Welcome, everybody. It's another episode of Our War World. We're all here having a good time. We haven't seen each other in about two or three weeks. We're on a different location. We are at defi- definitely different location. We are not at Studio T this week. We are at... Uh, Glenn Studio G. Studio beautiful. G. It's a beautiful Studio G. I've got to give you credit. It's be- we should do more shows over well, here. Thank but you. Studio G is more in the heart of the city, so uh, it might be accessible to more people. I, but, I uh, did mention the tour coming near to. Uh, d- have you kicked off the dates yet or anything like I'm that? I'm working on it. Oh, I've been, okay. have been looking at our need. international audience, Mark, so <laughs> yeah. more oh, to come. I, yes, just to let you know, guys. So we get updates every week of uh, how many people down the well. We got two people from Turkey. The country. <laughs> of Turkey, yes. we did, and we had to bring them up because we're going to start doing this now. Because, like, well, Glenn, give us some facts. Interesting facts okay. about Turkey. Interesting facts. Just for our listeners, for you, you, you got to build the Is international you, would, brand. Would you call them Turkeyans? Turkish. 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 Sorry. Okay, not Turkey. Thank Thanks you. Job. Good job. We'll introduce you to that guy. He's our legal. He uh, corrects everything we have to say nice. But, but yes. So uh, they're uh, Turkish. <laughs> <laughs> we have to talk about we have to talk about Turkey. Yeah, thank you for that it. intro. So, yeah, yes, they are Turkish. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Just in case anybody was confused. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, a couple known, uh, well, I should say little known facts. Istanbul was formerly known as Constantinople, Ooh. which was Roman Empire. Yeah. yeah, that is. That didn't they? They, they made a movie, Constantine, with Keanu Reeves, didn't they? What's his name? I haven't. Keanu. Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Uh, we've got our Rob Lowe moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm Robert, Robert, Keenan Robert Reeves. Robert Lowe. We've got that uh, like, moment, what the absolutely. Heck? Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> anyway, oh, the same. Anywho. At least Robert is his real name. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah well, no, it, uh, we're not getting into that. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Istanbul was the capital of three empires for 2,000 years. Roman, Ottoman, and Byzantine. Ottoman. Just like the couch. Remember what you would get that, remember that, that they built a whole empire on a round couch. Jerry Seinfeld used that. It's the Ottoman Empire. Wow. You're dating yourself there. <laughs> Wait till we get to the game. Well, later. true. Oh, fun, good so good segue. Well, so we wanted to give a shout out to our Turkish people. Thank you very much. We appreciate One more, that. Mark, which I think oh, you will oh. find of interest. Okay. Let's do one more. St. Nicholas. Who is popularly oh. known as Santa Claus was born in Turkey. Did you know? No. no. I'm telling you. Well, he's Turkish. Like a, I don't think he's going to have a gray beard then. He would probably be brown, right? Well, when well, he's you, old. I mean, his beard would a couple be hundred gray. years you can gray. Do you know I'm going off the subject a little bit, but the Taliban in Afghanistan <laughs> have kicked people out of the army because they can't grow a beard. That's a segue, folks. <laughs> You know That's what? what <laughs> you know, if you're ever talking about Santa to the kids, you always segue to Taliban talk. <laughs> Taliban talk. But I'm serious. That should be a new it's like pillow talk. <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, I try to help. I try to do what I the best, right. you know. So if we get some Afghan listeners or wherever else, <laughs> yeah. I, which, I got, which I don't you know. see how we can after this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You know, it'd be great if we had some Afghanistan. It'll just be okay. surging. So, but apparently, I bet you, if you listen to us, you get shot. <laughs> I, I bet okay, you well, do. Well, what do you know? So, and I'm God. sorry, yes. Afghanistan. Wait, what is it? What does our contributor say? I was gonna say, from my experience, when I post videos of AKs, they tend to watch because it tells me, you know, what country. Yeah, you're 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 killing our whole demographic here. Oh, okay, I'm I trying guess. to welcome in Turkey, and you're <laughs> oh, kicking out oh, Afghanistan. I'm, happy. I'm completely at Turkey. Thank you. Keep downloading. Tell your friends. We're really you make excited. A Killer sandwich. I guess you I mean. <laughs> and I'm the one getting in trouble, and he's saying turkey sandwiches. All right, introduce our, our introduce our guest today. Introduce. We have a Mark. I'm excited. We have our special guest here tonight. Who is it? Tell us who it is. Oh boy, this is a good one. His name is Ryan. Welcome, Ryan. Hello. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. We're happy you're here. From Ryan has got how many? Seventy five thousand followers on Face or YouTube? YouTube. His, yep. And Mud Gunner gonna, channel. My, yes, what is it? I'm sorry, what is it again? Mud Gunner, because I do mud run and shoot guns. That's pretty awesome. So what are mostly your uh, videos? I'm, we're going to get to your gun collection all that other stuff of why people watch what you do, but explain what you what do you collect? What do you like? Is it, How many guns do you have? Good stuff like that. Um, well, it's north of 100, uh, but... Wow. Yeah, shooting wow. content-wise, I try to shoot as much as I can, but uh, I do daily videos as of right now, so a lot of it is at home, kind of similar setup, just... Talking about guns and every day, I try to make it slightly different. So, how great is that? That's pretty. So, 
I know you got quite. I have a lot of them, so go ahead and you can start. So, uh, what's your favorite gun to shoot? What is the uh, the go to gun? I tend to shoot my Scar 16 the most. So, so we'll, we'll, see, wait, I don't wait, know. Wait. I'm gonna go tell the Scar. My viewers will know <laughs> from like guns, Lion King. Are we talking about the Scar? It's, uh, it's a Belgium scar. rifle. So they make good chocolate. They make good rifles. Ah. Can I ask how much you had to pay for a Scar gun? So I, I bought it back in. It was either 2016 or 2017. I paid two thousand dollars used at that time. They were twenty six fifty about about that brand new. Wow. Currently, they're about $3,400 brand new. So Goodness. So what is the 16? Did it, um, I don't know where the exact number comes from, but a lot of gun companies, they'll do like the model and then oh, the number. Yeah, so sure. they have a SCAR 16 and a SCAR 17. They're similar. They're just different calibers. Okay. So this is oh, a full I'll, I'll try to explain it to like non-gun people for you guys, but oh, it's yeah, hard. It's, definitely it's, like, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's just a very nice Belgium rifle. So like considered very high end um so what makes it fun to shoot i enjoy it because like i grew up playing like call of duty and stuff like that Mm -hmm. so it doesn't necessarily shoot that much different than some american made guns but it's just kind of nostalgic because i grew up playing with that uh gun in the game so so would you say the video game got you interested in guns or what got you interested Mm, there was a couple things so growing up i definitely could see myself like wanting to own a gun but i never really put the thought into it so Sorry, we got some barking dogs. Um, it's okay. That's We're used right. to it. So, it's okay. uh, so I started working at a gun shop when I was 18, and that's kind of what got me into it. So my boss is a family friend, and then um, I didn't really ever know anything about guns before that. I only shot a gun once in my life before that. But once I was like, oh, I could actually buy these, and then just kind of went down that rabbit hole. So Yeah, so if, if guns came in or anything like that, if you, if you found them rare and you just yeah, and took, I, took them out of pawn or, or just bought them from the, from the store itself? Or? Yeah, so we buy, sell, trade, pawn. Uh, most of what I buy is pre-owned just because it makes it a way better deal. Like new stuff is pretty pricey, but um, we tend to get a pretty good assortment of used guns, and I yeah. I get decent deals. But we sell guns at a pretty good price, too. Oh, that's awesome. I, I just... I, all I know is I know when the zombie apocalypse hits, I'm going to his place Bingo. because yeah, nobody Bingo. opens that door and lets me in because I, I don't own one. I think I've shot a gun one time. I looked at, yeah, I'm going to age myself here. Remember Hawkeye on MASH when he would throw it up in the air and he would oh, shoot? Oh, Jesus. You yeah, I'm, I'm really yourself. dating you for that, I know. But, uh, yeah, that's what I know about guns. So I got a lot of, like, uh, interesting questions on somebody that really doesn't know anything about okay. I don't care if you've got 500 of them happy for you I just don't get the fascination so fun people what, what do gun people what's the fascination and um so I, I got to know, you know so. it, every gun person is different so I try I feel like I relate to a lot of them um whether it be mindset or certain types of guns cuz there are people that definitely like can I cuss on here like just, Oh yeah okay. absolutely there are definitely yeah. people that like talk, I don't know <laughs> This is my <laughs> There's people that talk mad shit about certain guns, right? Like certain companies. It's like Chevy versus Ford. where mm-hmm. They got I, their favorites. Yeah, I'm pretty open-minded. And as long as I feel like the gun company makes a decent gun, which most of them do, right? Like you go buy a car. For the most part, if you buy any brand's car, it's going to run. Now, depending on how long is a different story, but same with guns. So, so what's the Rolls Royce of guns? What's the? Uh, yeah, that's a good oh, question. That's the, tough. The what is your holy there? grail? Well, Are we talking Holy question. Grail as in like performance or Holy Grail as in cost? Because again, I don't know. What would your Holy Grail gun be, and what would you base it off of? I guess. Well, and have you got it yet? Maybe you already have no, it. I mean, Holy Grail guns would be guns that are like hundreds of thousands of dollars, or you know, tens of thousands of dollars. I do have one that's a Holy Grail gun. It's just not my Holy Grail gun. I got this uh, Knight's Armament, which is a pretty well-known military company. Hmm. And uh, I got it for a pretty good deal. The rifle itself, it was made in 1993 with a matching suppressor and everything. So that, to a lot of people that know about the brand, would be considered a Holy Grail gun. And, I mean, setup-wise, it's going to vary because it's an older gun. It's like buying a classic Porsche or whatever. Right, okay, I get you. um, I mean, on the low end, you're looking 25 grand. On the high end, 40 plus. It just depends on what someone's willing to pay. Wow. And that's fully functional. It will fire. It will. You could still, yes. you know. It better for yeah. 20 well, I, 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 I don't grand. know. I mean, shit. Do you ever, I know. I'm, again, I'm going to ask stupid questions, but that's yeah. kind of like a, do you have like a, a like a cannon? Any, you not know, yet. if you're not yet. Is that what you, are maybe you looking at, some at maybe point. one of those? Honestly, the, my imagination is not the issue. It's the space of my house. Mm. I just picked up another gun safe yesterday and I mean, I'll have it full by the end of the so year. So I, I just met your girlfriend. Very nice girl. What does she think of the, of the hobby? Or is it an obsession now? Is it more oh, it's, of It's a... been an obsession for years. So, it's an obs- <laughs> <laughs> so she's very open-minded uh, about it for sure. Um, definitely has not limits, but she's like, really, like at times, because I am over the top. 
But I mean, when she met me, I already had well over a hundred. So um, I told her, you know, fair warning, I buy guns pretty often and often is in like a couple times a month. So no, that, <laughs> yeah. that you're, so you don't really have a set amount of what I want to collect or anything no. like that. It's just whatever the end amount it, is when you're if done. If I with had them. enough space to have like a museum of guns, I would do it. So that's kind of cool. That's yeah, a little that's showcase. Actually, yeah. That'd oh, yeah. Be it's like cool. a car museum. I mean, yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. everyone's got to have their collections and what they want to do, and that's pretty. So, give everybody an idea of what you. So, I know everybody watching your YouTube channel right now knows who you are, what you do, but on our avenue, they don't. Yeah. So, explain what you do for your YouTube, and so they can tune into your YouTube channel and we can kind of go so from there. So, my channel is called Mud Gunner. I do daily videos. I'm doing daily videos as of 2024, 2025. I might tone it down a little bit because it's hard to do it daily for the, forever. Sure, but, I bet. Um, that was my goal for 2024 because I wanted to grow the channel. I've had the YouTube channel since 2017, but I was posting pretty inconsistently from 2017 till December. But ah. December, I decided, to, I decided to post every single day for all of 2024. Wow. And uh, content-wise... Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Content-wise, I try to shoot like once a week if I can during summers, like the slow time, because uh, there's fire restrictions, so I can't shoot in the desert. Um, it's really just if I go to a range, which is harder to record shooting videos at a range. So, um, a lot of my content right now is just at home videos, talking about guns, stuff like that. But yeah, what's the biggest, um, response? What do they mostly want to know about right. uh, um, on your YouTube channel? What goes viral? Yeah. yeah what's big? So honestly, the things that have gone viral for me recently are just gun shop shorts. So like 15 second videos showing a cool gun. And uh, it seems like a lot of people like either like military type rifles, like stuff that looks like what the military would use. I mean, on my end, it's just normal stuff. But because um, I get viewers, I, I can see my demographic and it looks like I get viewers from tons of other countries like Turkey. Turkey? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know exactly how many, but like, I, I posted um, I posted this 308 rifle that's used a lot in um, like South America and then like Africa, stuff like that. And I see the demographic. They, they blow up that video. So, I mean, I get like 3 million views on a short because... Wow. But it's mostly out of country at that point. Mm. So, I don't know. It, I don't know like the, the algorithm because, right, if I knew it, I'd, sure, everything yeah. would be We'd, we'd all be rich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'd have you teaching yeah. us. So. <laughs> I would say for like my, my viewers, they tend to like suppressor videos, talking about suppressors. Wait, I got to... What, what, what is a suppressor? Um, <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> Gang, I'm ask. Uh, uh, don't laugh at me, guys. So don't judge think, me, okay? Think of like a muffler for your car. <laughs> Um, okay. As far as I know, don't quote me on this. I think I drive electric. They were designed around the same time, so mufflers. We and, know. Yeah. Mufflers and silencers were designed around the same time. Okay. So it and gun people will be like, well, it doesn't silent your gun; it suppresses it. So the legal term is silencer, but it does just suppress the noise. Now, certain cal- is that the twist on one? It's like yes, you see uh, in the movies. Yeah. Like you, know you say, it's movies. like when the sniper's coming up, but he's yeah. Yeah. you know. And see, I kind of know. In guys. some of the old <laughs> movies, they screw, they take apart a flashlight, turn it into a suppressor. I don't have one of those yet. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, why not? Is it affordable? It probably is. It's just not practical, and it's not going to be as good as a modern-made one. Yeah, I get your gun boss to buy one. But <laughs> you know, that's what I would. That's what I'd have. But, it sounds like a, a good title, the gun, gun boss. boss. Gun boss, yeah. the gun boss. Yeah. You probably are, though. You could probably start your own shop if you wanted to. Eventually, I wouldn't make any money because I'd just buy everything that comes through the door. <laughs> The gun collector. Yeah, yeah I, I, I need someone collector. to put a limit on me. So, yeah, that's maybe the girlfriend will be able to do that. What? So, do you have like a f- favorite segment of your show? Is there something that you like doing more than anything else? That shooting would be the most fun, but it's also it takes the most time, it takes the most money because ammo is not necessarily cheap. Um, hmm. Yeah, if I could shoot every single day, I would shoot every single day. So I, I literally bought a new vehicle just so I can go shooting, um, like take myself out to the desert because. My biggest like limiting factor was not being able to take myself to the desert. So uh, hmm, I bought an off-road yeah. capable vehicle a couple months ago, and then this winter I plan on shooting as much as I can. Hopefully, I mean at least once a week, maybe twice a week. And I mean that will be my favorite segment is actually shooting the guns. And so do you, you just, do you slow mo? I haven't seen your channel, so I got definitely have to pull this up now because uh, is it like slow when you're when you're pulling the trigger itself? Do you slow it down? Do you make any effects or is it do just you shoot kind of gangster the style? <laughs> yeah, I, I have do shot gangster style. Okay, with do that. See, you're, you'll be yeah. into that. You'll like one video is my <laughs> high point video, which high point's not a great gun, but uh, yeah, if I, I, nice. I, I would say it's going to evolve over time depending on like what's available to me equipment wise. Because right now I just record on my phone. So I'm I'm limited as far as like my cinematic. What would be your next step up of the phone? What would be? I mean, the next step up would be a good camera, but then a videographer, because you can have like a ten, fifteen thousand dollar camera, but if you don't know how, if you don't have the person that knows how to use it, 
Um, and, are and are you making money off this? It's slowly getting there. So it's not paying the bills just yet, but I mean... It, and how many followers do you have to have until you finally start getting income rolling in? Or how does the... I know you don't know the algorithm, but when does... Is it YouTube, right? Yeah. On YouTube. How much do they pay you after a certain amount? Is it after downloads, after so followers? Or? It, I think it definitely depends on your content because gun channels get more restricted. Um, people ask if you're demonetized. Videos get demonetized, but you can still make some money on them. So right now for like uh, long form content, which is just your typical like YouTube video, I'm averaging like three, $3.50 per thousand views. And then sh uh, short content, which is just those like little 15 second shorts that are vertical, those average six second or six cents per thousand views. Wow. So, okay. I mean, I've had like a 15 second short make me $200 because I got millions of views. So, I mean, you right. figure those content creators that post two, three shorts a day, if every single one's getting millions of views, they can definitely reel in money. Or, or I see it as like, so last month I made 800 bucks on YouTube. And that's after eight consistent months of posting every single day. Um, Your first profit month or? Well, first it, it, so from January to July, it was about $300 a month. And then July took off and went to $800 a month. And then I think I'm on track to do that for this month of August as well. So... I think eventually it turns into exponential growth, but if I break it down, I do videos every single day, at the 30 days a month roughly, and it, it basically translates to about $10 an hour right now. So right. it's not paying for itself necessarily, but I think there's room, you know, if I get a million subscribers, eventually it can be something that I could do full time. See, we have to strive for that. Art four. <laughs> yeah. Art, we're, a, we're a little short, just to let you know that we're, we're a little just, short. We're getting there. We're, we're getting cresting. There. YouTube uh, people, we're asking you for your help, yeah. okay? So we're happy to have Ryan on. That He has this many. There's got, you got a question for uh, our con uh, guest contributor? No, over to over you, Andy. You yeah, know, so it, you have been very quiet. So. I have been really quiet. I listen, I don't know anything about guns. No, that's, well, okay. that's, that's why, that's why <laughs> I'm, I, I think, sorry, don't judge us, so YouTube. So I'll take a couple of questions here, Mark. <laughs> okay, you, cool. All right. Back to you, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, for us older folk, what what gun would you recommend to make us look sexier? Like, to look what sexier. could we yeah. we strap yeah. on? You know, what could I do to look yeah, good? Like, can we help him out? Is there <laughs> any hope for Mark? You too. You oh. help me out. I mean, Come based on. off your shirt there, Glenn, he's got the Abraham Lincoln shirt. Yeah, you need, uh, I think he was shot with the Darren. Uh oh, but I have a shout out to Abe. Oh, so for my for yeah. my content guy or for my Here, followers, stand up with this shirt Mark is wearing like a Hawaiian shirt, and that's <laughs> actually known in the gun industry. You'd be considered a boogaloo boy. And is that good oh, or bad? I, I it depends on the good. person. I mean, yeah, I'm not. I, I don't. I'm not against Hawaiian shirts, but, uh, but I, most of certain gun, So yeah. there's different demographics <laughs> of gun people. Say no more, Ryan. We we get you. <laughs> we get yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're trying to look classy, let me think. Yeah, Are you wanting like, a handgun or you want? Well, a rifle? like with an old school pistol and a cowboy hat, you know, like him and a pencil mustache. Would would that do it? <laughs> it uh, or should he go like guys. a big kind of golden Glock sort of thing? You know. So based off what he's wearing, I picture a gold desert eagle, a gold tiger stripe desert eagle. Okay, a gold. I've seen those. Those, those are cool. Yeah. Uh, does, I mean, would I look cool? Wow. Would you guys think I was cool? That's uh, all I'm asking. I, it, you it, would think you would look cool. It could, and if, if she's wearing this, she seems to have hurt. a gun in her car, right? That's all she's going to need. Um, don't leave it you in You look like car. you're ready for bed. I love you. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you're all out of bed. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. All right. It's been a long so, day here. So I guess we could look cool with guns. Sure. Should I wear them with shades or my readers? Definitely shades. <laughs> yeah. I know. With I think my you shades. Okay. Let's do this completely. You're going to look what, like uh, the disheveled uh, old man that, like, you know? chases that you I could take them off. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. You That'd could be cool, tell everybody so. your name's Al. So what else are you going to do? You, what's an, an utmost goal? So you would not have to sell guns anymore. You'd just be doing content every day. Is that what you want to do? Or what is, um, what's your goal on that? I. I just want to work in the industry in some form for basically the rest of my life. So I like working at the shop because it gives me the chance to buy cool guns that you don't really see. So if I got really big on YouTube, a little closer, oh, Ryan. Sorry. There you go. If I got really big on YouTube, I would probably tone back working, maybe go part time if I can, and then focus more on the YouTube. Because I know there's a lot of guys that once their YouTube channel hits a certain point, they do that full time, and then they're getting paid by sponsors, stuff like that. But um, I right now I'm trying to mainly have it just be me. Like I've had small companies reach out to me that I don't even know who they are, like gaming companies, stuff like that. But I want to keep it, you know, all my content for as long as I can. Do they want to buy it or what no, do they want? It, so I get weird emails and I don't know how like good some like what whatever they are. But Nigerian prints. <laughs> they're like <laughs> they offer you yeah. So um, I'm sure you guys see this on other YouTube channels, but on gun channels you'll see your favorite YouTuber, right? The first two minutes of their video might be them talking about all their sponsors 
It could be a gunsmithing school. It could be a video game or a phone game. It could be a computer company. I, I see all that all the time. So I, right now, I don't want to do that because I feel like it would kind of, I don't know. I, I just don't want to feel like bought and paid for as of right now. Like I want it to all be. Hey, good job, uh, like uh, YouTube. Like That's I don't good, mind yeah. trying out products. Like I've tried products for companies before, but I don't want to have to do my video and then be like, oh, I got to squeeze this company's ad in there, you know? I do yeah, want to no, know that our warped world can totally be bought. We, we will do that. We there is no sell doubt in my mind. Sell we can, actually, money. we will yeah. do two minutes an hour of just this, and we'll play 58 I, I will be your whore. Ads. You just say the word. No, it'd be fun. So, any what other? Uh, Anywho, I, yeah, yeah. Just, we just want to get yeah. that in. Uh, but but I love your integrity, Ryan. Right? Yeah, I, I do love yeah. your integrity. Once you get older, though, it's all about the money. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I mean, realize, if though. I had more money right now, I'd just buy more guns. So I mean, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, you know, exactly. maybe your Stick mom with the can integrity. invest. Maybe uh, <laughs> mom can. You know, yeah, we're just bringing that yeah. up. You know, you could find that at our world. You know what's a, funny is people always like, oh, that's mommy daddy money. So. My mom's no, shaking her head. No, she doesn't pay has. for my guns. I pay for my own No, guns. I never thought that at all either. I know you. I, I, I know how, how you get your guns and what you do, yeah. so I know that's not the truth. Either. Any last couple questions we can ask him before we uh, you know, take a small little break? I have one more. One so more. what is the wackiest work story? What is, oh, is, is there been somebody yeah, that's, that's gone got, in? Yeah, I got to hear one. Are like, we talking wackiest or craziest? Because I, I want both, actually. Yeah, give yeah, me, let's give get me wackiest, story. then craziest. Um, like, has I, anyone tried to hold up the store or something crazy? No. We have more employees than some stores. Like, honestly, it's, it's crazy because gun stores get robbed all the time. But you don't hear about it in most news cases because they don't want to be in the news. But right. um, us working at a gun store, we get reports when other stores are robbed or stuff like that. But yeah, no one's ever tried to hold us up. Closer to the mic. Uh, <laughs> no one's tried to hold us up, but we have had like tweakers, crackheads, ho different homeless people come in. And I mean, you never know what kind of experience you're going to get because a lot of times they're on drugs. Um, have they ever tried to bring in like a stick and then say that's their new Glock? Or? No, they're just basically talking nonsense. But I mean, we've had aggressive customers, nothing that's ever gotten physical while I've been there. But I mean, we've had to call the police. I... This is one where it's not necessarily my fault. Like, you sell guns, as long as they pass the background check, it's all good. But uh, I sold a guy a gun, and then I didn't realize he was still in the parking lot two hours later. A customer ran in and said, there's a guy with a gun to his head in your parking lot in his car. Whoa. So we had to call the police because he was holding the gun under his chin. Um, that's definitely a crazy one. Yeah, yeah, wow. that's definitely well, a crazy one. It's, Did he make it? Did they get him some help? Uh, or? Yeah, the Gilbert PD rolled up, and it's not interesting, but, like, you know, you're, he's basically contemplating committing suicide, and the police roll up, all guns pointed at him. So it's <laughs> right, like, right. Yeah, that, uh, but the irony let of this us help story. you with that. <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah. Well, I understand their point because they got to make sure they're safe and other people are safe. Right. So it's basically just to, you know, I, I feel like if they're going to do it, they're going to do it. But, you know, they, I don't know. I don't know the, how they're training. Sure, works but, that, that, but that's, that, like, I mean. That is strange, though. Like, I would think of a cheaper way to go out. That That's a $500 purchase to yeah, then turn I know, around. Exactly. Yeah, I you know. Everyone's mindset's different, but yeah, I, I don't know. But yeah, um, it's not like you could just go, go to a buy, kitchen I'll store and you get a knife. Refund his money. A knife? I don't Gosh, know. That's brutal. People that's still brutal. kill themselves with knives? Well, I don't know. I hadn't thought this through. I, I, I mean, that's a little bit. I know, but a knife? I don't know. I'll get a hand grenade. How's that? It's got to be cheaper. That makes more sense than a freaking. Nice. Then you're gonna never well, mind. I don't go know. all over. Yeah. I don't know. I, There's not shit. a don't, I don't know. We don't want any you want me to whip you to death with one of these Twizzlers while you're at it? Well, hey, like, I mean, <laughs> wow. I, I feel yeah. fortunate because yes. un unfortunately, like some of my coworkers that don't work for us anymore, not because of any incident, but just I've been there for ten years now. Um, we have had employees sell guns, and then those people unfortunately kill themselves or kill someone else. So no, it, it, yeah, it does I mean, the happen, industry in general has got to be a little depressing at times, but so does any job. Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's not different like than a bartender. Job, you know, bartenders so. yeah, exactly. don't know like it, their job. If is they drink and then they walk out and die of cirrhosis yeah. of the liver yeah. or something, like, yeah, it's any job you have. So there, I, there's no no. Yeah. Also, yeah. I, nothing I, bad like that happens in the hair industry. Just want to clarify. No one's gonna pull out a knife if you if you cut them wrong. It's true. Maybe Glenn. Yeah. Glenn, like, yeah, that's right. You don't mess with the shoes you know, or his hair. I've done it twice. You get labeled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hate that, don't right, you? Exactly. I mean, come First on. time, probably, you would have got away with it. But then I've had this 30 other time haircuts, time. no problem. So. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? This is why I cut my own hair. Do you really? <laughs> Save money for guns. Hey, nice. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That's going to work perfectly. Hey, do we have any other questions for Ryan? Are we? I mean, I think was that great. was it. I, that was, that was fabulous. I like that a lot. 
Oh, my. You stick around with us. Uh, we got some fun games, some fun stuff going oh, yeah, on, some definitely. news. We want you to stick around. Fantastic. Thank we'll you right so much. back, everybody. Hey, thanks for getting back with us. Our work. Well, we do this every week now. We, we do know. We all, if we hear this. <laughs> Don't look at me. Duh. Look at her. <laughs> <him. laughs> I just want to clarify that that is not me. On the that, I would hope it's not you. I would hope it's not you completely. It would be freaking crazy if it was. I can so, neither confirm nor so deny. So now, but one minute, you know, we, uh, 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 on, we all laugh at this. Everybody's laughing here at it. The end Andrea. is great. Dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> okay, Andrea. This Andrea, stupid news, everybody. Hold on. Stupid news. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good. Okay. So the stupid news of the week is late French film star mm. Alan Delon wanted his dog buried with him. The dog gets to live, though. Wow. So what I'm wondering, was the dog not dead? They were going to euthanize the dog? Uh, yes. It like the dog was alive. I, wow. You can't kill. <laughs> That's a horrible last request. I would <laughs> kill my dogs. Right. And, and <laughs> It's just not right. We should That's be horrible. together forever. <laughs> yeah, that is just morbid. Wow. Can you imagine the dog up in heaven? No, he, no, he killed me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no perfectly good reason at all. Just... The old man died, and all of a sudden I was, I was done. I was only I, I two. Do any... Yeah, it was just crazy. The dog just at the not... will reading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take Fido with you. <laughs> <laughs> Fido goes running down the street. Hey, get me out of here. <laughs> I'm not staying in this place. Yeah. I don't care. Needs a lawyer. <laughs> the dog gets a lawyer. I bet you there is. Wouldn't PETA do that? Wouldn't PETA? I, I think PETA would represent the dog. Isn't that what they're there for? See, PETA would represent. Yeah, what do you think? They don't even want you to have a dog. No, they don't want you to have anything. Right. They exactly. Really they're going to not represent you, Dora. All right. That was good. I like that one. Right. Okay. I'm strong. glad the dog got to live. Strong start. Yes. The, that is a strong start. Okay. So you got time for another one? Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, methamphetamine disguised as a shipment of watermelons seized at the U.S.-Mexican border in San Diego. Oh, wow. I mean, Methan I give them an A-plus for creativity. How do you get it in without looking like it's cracked open? Do you well, think any made it through? Like, should I be going to the this. grocery store? Meth melons. Well, what gives it away is the duct tape over the watermelon. No, because some watermelons have that. What gives it away is the fact that it's like... It looks like it's dying. It's dying it does, and it does, wilted. Like, it does look like a wilted. I would Why just say we it's not ripe yet. No, See, yeah, it, it, it looks pretty wilted, though. It does look pretty wilted. It looks like, like one of those chew candies. Like yes! A chip <laughs> well, what would throw you off if you're pulling the boat? Those look like... What would throw you off is you're up for a week. <laughs> That is true. That is true. <laughs> Did any get through, though? Yeah. Uh, Should we be going to bashes? No, we're good. They got them. Also, this one says, women, woman who faced eviction over three emotional support parrots <laughs> wins uh, $165,000 in federal case. Damn. I wonder, that's a lot I wonder what the pair, I wonder if they talk. Money. Discrimination. Oh, plus, <laughs> plus she... Gets another five hundred eighty-five thousand dollars for her apartment. Just for the apartment? Just for being able to live there, I guess. We need to get some parrots, guys. Emotional support parents. To, yeah, parents that's like two hundred fifty k per parent. It just it just listens to you. Well, they're annoying sons of bitches. Let's not. Oh, get they squawk up. all the time. And yeah, pains in the ass. Let's get them something. high on watermelon. Though. It's like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're gonna go super fast. Yeah, feed them watermelon. <laughs> it'd be fantastic. So. <laughs> See, those are good. Is there one more? Do one more. All right. One All right. more. Finish strong. One more. You, you, finish this strong, has been yes. great. <laughs> it's the highlight of our night so far. This is great. Well, no offense, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. no offense, Ryan. Short memory here with the host. <laughs> I mean, your guns are cool, but it's no meth watermelon. Yeah, it's no meth watermelon. Okay. Largest desert tortoise rescued from the Arizona highway after escaping from the ostrich ranch three miles away. Ooh. Wow, Ooh. three miles for a turtle? They, oh, they, they take move them fast. Three days. I have two of them. They do chop. Wait, so how you have, fast? Do, you have a, do you have the big ones? Yeah. So Arizona native tortoises don't get very big. They get like the size of a small basketball. But sulcata tortoises, which is what a lot of Arizona people keep, they get like they can be hundreds of pounds. 
The average is maybe 80 to 120 pounds, but they can get 300, 400 plus. Apparently, they're diggers because I have a friend of mine, and that they dig, and it'll oh, dig yeah. and get out down the street, and all their neighbors know it, so they just return it back to them when it gets out because it's like walking the neighborhood. I have like a 15-foot like oh, burrow up, in my hey? backyard. <laughs> you have to leave those in your will because they can leave to be like 115 years oh. old. Yep. Yeah, do you get <laughs> you're getting Mom the wants will. no part of that. You're going to get the turtle in the will, dude. Wow. It's big. Wow. Well, hopefully he outlives What's, it. What is your turtle's name? So I have one named Nato and one named Nugget. Nato and Nugget. Nato and Nugget. Oh. Look, what the hell was that back there? I, I named Nato, <laughs> but my girlfriend's seven-year-old sister named Nugget. I like Nugget, though. That's cute. That is cute. Yeah, Nugget was supposed to be a girl, but now he's a boy. Wow. Are you going to get another one? No, I, mean, I, I didn't even want the second one. But Now, what do you feed those things? They eat the grass in my backyard. They're nature's lawnmowers. That's it? That's it? Yeah. Well, I, I supplement their food, but most of their diets like grass. So a lot of people get them, but they don't have the backyard that's set up for them. That you don't and do they like the hot, obviously they're tortoises, but do they like the hot weather or do you let them yes, in or what do you yes do? Yes and no. So during the hottest part of the day, they're in the burrows because it's too hot for them. They come out when conditions are favorable. So during like spring, they'll be out during the day. During winter, if it's warm enough, which Arizona is pretty warm. They get along with your dogs? Oh, yeah. They don't care about each other. I, uh, if I let them in the house, which I don't do very often, they'll just take a nap next to each other. Aww. How cute is that? Wow. That should be a YouTube channel. That should be a YouTube channel. There's a lot of people channel, that have so. YouTube channels like talking about them. They're cool. The issue is people just overbreed them. Yeah. Because so, they live so long, but they'll have hundreds of babies a year. Jeez. Really? So cotta tortoise, which is what the big ones are, you can get those for as cheap as 25 bucks. Or people always get rid of them for free. So one was given to me as a gift. One was like a rescue that someone's like, can you please take this tortoise? When it's little, are you supposed to leave it in the house like in a um, bowl? Yes and no. But the problem is a lot of people don't set them up right because they need UV light, like sunlight. But when they're too small, they don't survive outside because our Arizona sun will kill them in a couple of minutes if they're little babies. Oh, so. man. Hundreds that, of babies. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That would, I didn't. Can you imagine you're sitting there one day and. And it's after I'm it rains. I'm just thinking so. turtle porn. Oh, you know, it, that is, it's going, it's, it's quite it's crazy. Gonna, yeah. It, you know, what's weird is I'm they dominate it. each other like a dog. So like both Whoa. of mine are males, but one will mount the other. So it's turtle style. Is what turtle style. <laughs> do they ever flip over? Uh, <laughs> of if, course. If they uh, butt heads, which they don't do very often, but they can. So I didn't want to have two males because Whoa. occasionally they, they do butt heads. But uh, yeah, the first one I'm going to, the my main one, NATO, I'm going to keep. But eventually I will rehome Nugget because. He was just a rescue. Someone was trying to like find a home for him, and I said yes. But um, yeah, having two males, it's not ideal. Okay. Mm. Wow. That we we got off the stupid news onto like real tortoise yeah. news. That's kind of cool. Uh, we're coming. We're so we're, we're introducing a new segment tonight. We 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 what, what we do teased everybody with uh, this it. This is an awesome segment. This I'm this excited so, for this segment. As a lot of you know, that uh, my wife started. Uh, she's a nurse. Well, she started to work at the. Uh, um, jail. So uh, we are going to be starting uh, tonight. We're debuting Holly's Jail Tales. So uh, we're going to be right back. We're going to get her hooked up. So stick around and listen to these. Well, we're back. So we are, we've are. we been talking about this, teasing everybody for about the last two or three shows. As everybody knows, like I said, my wife has started to work for the jail system. She's, uh, you know, so I'm going to have to give it up to her. There. Yeah, yeah, give it She's up. going to work for the jail sale. And we are starting Holly's Jail Tales. So Holly... Yes, indeed. So, yes, indeed, honey. Start telling us Holly's jail tales. Yes. Well, as a nurse for 30 years, I wanted to work somewhere where customer satisfaction scores weren't at the top of the list. So I figured maybe correctional health would be a good move. Mm. Yeah, good. Yeah. So what, I like the creativity. Yeah. There's no we, family calling you, no after hours patients calling you. True. So, what we want to do with a segment with you is we want to hear that you have today are some crazy news, some crazy I'm going to jail. news is what we need to hear, honey. We want is to that hear Tracy Morgan. That, no, I don't know who it I is. I think it is. Like it is. So it's pretty funny, though. So. so, well, I was just in orientation last week, so it wasn't that much. We're um, four eight-hour shifts, and then on the fifth day, I did enter the jail system. And um, So what does I, that mean, enter the jail system? Yes, <laughs> yes I badged in and went down to the basement. Oh, wow. Yeah. Spooky. So there's a basement, there's a clinic on each level where the uh, medical team hangs out. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
as the levels get higher, so do the um, type of um, inmates. Oh. So your second floor is a lot different than your fourth floor. Um, the toughest ones are on the fourth floor. And you got your chomos. They're chomos. all together, yes. What is a chomo? Those are child molesters. Oh, that's, that's a new not word good. I heard this oh, week. Oh, no. Besides, I heard the, a new term. Prison pocket is how you get your drugs into the jail. Right. Um, Rectally. Yeah. yeah. Right. So people are so nice there. Nature's pocket. All the correction officers, very nice. Um, healthcare team's very nice, but they can tell who the new person is because we ask a lot of questions. And, um, you know, so I think is we, it, we is went Is it up, like you see on TV? Do they, do they yell fish or no, nothing no, like that? No, I don't no. even really enter the units. There's a pod in between. Uh, a door will open and then you enter a pod. Hmm. It's just a concrete room and that's where the... Uh, corrections officer will get the inmate and bring them out. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know all that, which I'm very happy for. But once in a while, you do have to go in um, to the max level because to take them out, it's two guards, belly chains. Um, and sometimes they don't have the staff for it, so you have to go up to their cell. None of them ever leave their cell. They're in there 24 hours a day. Damn. So when somebody walks in, they all go to their window and start staring. It's and like you ju I just look forward. Yeah, I'm not ready to look around at all. So, But, you know, one of the corrections officers thought it would be really funny because we had to do what's called a health needs request, an H&R, which is a form a inmate fills out. And um, we have to see him within 24 hours for correctional health. And he was like, well, you know, you might want to stand back on this one. And I'm thinking, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And, you know, we're up a higher level, so I'm starting to, you know. And so next thing you know, they open the door, and it opens. It makes the worst noise when they open that prison door. And I'm looking straight ahead, and there's nobody there. And finally, I look down. And I swear this person was three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> he was built like a gumdrop. He had little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. Whoa. And these little feet. And he was in a wheelchair. But he was not he was not more than three feet tall. This sounds like a movie. Yeah, and so we met his health needs request, which I can't talk about because it's HIPAA, but sure. the reason why he is in there, of course, is public knowledge. And this was a cold case. Uh, this dude's 71 years old, and when he was 31 years old, he murdered and raped a 21-year-old. Oh, my God. Wow. So, yeah, Yikes. this little guy that's built like a gumdrop did oh, all that. Is this? How do you... If you're three feet in your arms, how do you rape? I do you grab that bitch I don't know like what you're grabbing. I don't know. I mean, your your arms are only going to get to the person's breast or First something. First of all, a disclaimer, folks. Mark does not know what he's saying. No, I don't. However, it's hard to say. Yeah. You could you kick the guy off. Maybe drugged drug somebody. She was that's what I'm three yeah, feet it's got to be a drug situation. Yeah. What about three feet what tall? What if she was three feet tall? I don't right, think that's exactly. Really it could be, strong could be a kid, or I don't know. It could be. How many times know. do you watch CSI and it's midget rape? I mean, you don't see a lot of that. Well. Wow, that was an awful pause <laughs> by everybody. Yeah. I, it's it's not you. been on the channels That's I watched. I'm watch, telling you. It's, yeah. To me, this is the weirdest rape so, case ever. It's the, very strange. It was very strange. But so, they found him through... Uh, these yeah, are why how did they do. catch him? That, that's the real they question. They found him through... I'm thinking through uh, genealogy DNA because he did not have any DNA in the wow. system. Wow. This is what I read in... That's the, sad. Yeah, it's it, very strange. That's crazy. It's very strange. So. Yeah, we didn't say Holly's jail tales were going to always no, be a, uplifting. So he did but it's true. Stories. We don't want. He didn't a ask story. for like a blow up dinosaur or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. He did not. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> did he make? I don't even any... remember what his need was, but we need you in the your microphone. Oh, sorry. Thank you. But I don't even remember what he needed because I was just so fascinated with mm. his stature Size. and what, what, what did he, was he need there for? Wonder, his legs a little too. Yeah. It sounds like one of legs. those. Uh, but you know what the worst part is? They only have like regular size pants. So his were like rolled, like, his orange pants oh, were rolled wow. way up. So how many, yeah. how many little people can be in jail? I don't know. And I did. There's no cap. <laughs> I mean, a lot because they need less space. 
Ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. No, 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 yeah. We that's what we bring yeah. on the interview guests. That's we do. We're big on that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why he's got 75,000 viewers right, exactly. and we have eight. So I was wondering like, if he gets targeted at all because of his disability, but I guess he's the I one can't that, help. that will tell... Uh, you know the corrections officer like that guy has drugs in his room. This guy's doing that, and so he's, he's the like, oh, yeah. And so he's the snitch. Yeah, and so once all oh, he once no. all he gets dumped out of his chair and has a few bruises on him, from what I understand, so he gets dumped out of his chair. <laughs> he gets dumped. That's Fuck the this bad. guy. <laughs> I can yeah. see him. You know, I can see the inmates yeah. throwing him yeah. to back and forth to each other. That'd be yeah. good. Yeah. Work all out. I can think yeah. of. Yeah. 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 All I can think of. Yeah. Next time it's midget tossing. Yes, All I can think about about the midgets is that scene in Awesome Powers when Doctor. <laughs> Evil and Minnie Me are in jail, and Minnie Me and him are in there dancing. That's so <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah. so right. I just see this guy in there, like Minnie Me, with like a do rag and the. Front. So what? Did, what? Did, so what have other nurses said? Oh my God! Look at what? he looks like from The Hobbit. What? Wow! That's why. He looks like now he's just from imagine the Hobbit. he's just a big gumdrop. He's not even a goody goody gumdrop. No. He looks There's like a public uh, website the guy where the his picture is available. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he Gimler. does look like Lord of the Rings. That's exactly yeah, what he looks freaky. like. Archer doesn't even want to but look then at then it. Yeah. My <laughs> precious. Yeah. Oh. And then, you know, you just have your general people in there that are high profile on the news right now. And so it's kind of strange that there's one guy that's, uh, he's going to court right now for his death penalty case. It's been 13 years. Damn, Damn. thirteen years. Is oh too yeah, long. he did a really bad thing. I won't even get into it right now because it's bad. Um, okay, but okay. yeah, <laughs> okay. But, right. uh, <laughs> what they do in their death penalty cases, a lot of them, what the officers are saying is, right before they're ready to go to trial, they'll fire their attorneys. Then they have to restart, and then they'll fire their attorneys, and then they'll fire, and so it never goes to trial. So a lot of them have been sitting twenty-four and seven in a room for eleven years. You've just given Imagine. me a great career idea. Yes. Well, uh oh. I would love to be like attorney number four. <laughs> right. You know, I come in, the shit's already been outlined. Yeah. I'm, I'm in with a placeholder for like a year and then yeah. fire me. Gone. Thank you. Yeah. You know, write me a nice check. Yeah, but it's very <laughs> safe. I don't know. That, well, I'm sure it's the public defender. Me. I don't yeah, have attorney, number attorney number four. <laughs> when you're trying to run out the clock. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. That'd be good. We got to get that market. Yeah, that's what I, it's so, a genius one. I mean, yeah. So what are the, what do your new nurses say you can expect? So are we yeah, gonna well, go, are, it's going to be something different every day, but seriously, nursing-wise, it's super easy. And you know what? Every single person that was there, and there's some people there, as you can imagine, they're, they're all unsentenced. It's yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, thank you, ma'am. Oh, wow, yeah, nice. You know, you get a couple that are... You know, but as soon as they, you know, there was five nurses standing there. He was like, look, all the pretty women. The CO corrected him right away and said, nope, don't do that. The the officer corrections uh, off. They don't, they don't let medical. Right. They don't let um, the inmates talk to the nurses at all. Anything. So they are yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Well, we're going to make this a regular yeah. segment. We're going to do this at least once a month. I don't think month, they're so. going to be great, happy stories, but they. I think there's going to be a lot of funny well, ones. I don't know if we're going to be able to better the rape midget story. I don't know. That was pretty well, good. Let's just say assault. Geez. That's a better word. Yeah. Oh, that's a geez, yeah. assault. Well, Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's very very well, yeah, 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 exactly. Well, you can't really joke on that word. Right. Assault has a bigger... Yeah. The assault that occurred so. by the midget. It's okay Thank to say you. midget. I'm allowed to say midget. You can little say people. midget, but oh, okay. it's little people. <laughs> we, Big we world. To... Yeah. Right. It's a, that was a show, wasn't it? No, that was eight midgets. No, it was a midget family. Little people, big world. Yeah, see, <laughs> I don't think it was really wrong. But one of the midget's it. kids married a regular sized person. Oh, okay. Well, we, let's. Uh, <laughs> Holly Shale. Holly Shales Tales. We're happy to have her on. Thank you, Holly. Thank we appreciate you. it. Thank you. You're we're welcome. gonna be we're gonna be right back. We're playing Generation Gap when we get back. All right, guys, we are back. We always finish, you know, our warp world with uh <laughs> with our warp world. You were close. With uh, our game, okay? So we always play it. Now this you, this one isn't a dirty game. This is actually just legit. Oh. Usually I play some dirty games or something, but we're not this week. We are playing Generation Gap. So what basically I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask our older generation person, Glenn over here, Whoa. a younger Whoa. related question and we're gonna see if you can get it. And then I'll ask you an older related question, R2. Ryan, can I ask how old you are? Twenty eight. 
So you are just on the verge of being a millennial still. So uh, yeah, he. So you, you millennials will get the older questions to see if you can ask. So who is gonna? Let's let our guest go first today. He will go first. So you're gonna get an older question. Okay. Why am I the old guy? Let, let's take well, a minute. Because you're the here. oldest guy of who's playing. Wait, are you playing, Mark? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that, that was hey, my point. Hey, I didn't like this at all. Okay, all <laughs> yeah. right. Come on, Grant. All right, here we go. You ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Bring right. it. The first one to three will win. What was Skipper's nickname for Gilligan in Gilligan's Island? I've never seen it. <laughs> oh, my God. Little buddy. Little buddy. Little that was what I was going to say next. <laughs> oh, so, no, so he lost. <laughs> So he's 0 for 1. He's not in it. Okay. So do you guys kind of know how this game is working now? Got it. Got All right. It gets, a it gets tough, okay? Oh, that was wow. tough from the beginning. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I'm already sweating. What group were Demi Moore, Robert Love, <laughs> Judd Nelson, and Andrew McCarthy part of? I'm sorry. Can you repeat the members of the band again? What group? <laughs> They're not a no, no, no. Were Demi Moore, Rob Lowe, <laughs> Judd Nelson, and Andrew McCarthy part of? Uh, that's what I'm Ro saying. I'm confused. Is it Rob Lowe or Robert Lowe? <laughs> this, what were they? What group uh, were they considered in the 80s? The Partridge family. No. <laughs> The Brat Pack. The Brat Pack. You guys suck. Okay, this is all right. That is like 40-year-old trivia. See, it's harder than you guys think. All right, are you ready? Because we weren't alive for yours, but you're alive for ours. Glenn, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here Bring we go. it. No excuses. All right. <laughs> I hear they're like, One, true, no, this is easy. True or false, it's 50%. <laughs> One in four workers aged 18 to 25 don't take a single paid vacation day. Oh, that's true. It is true. Fewer than one in ten Americans of all age groups say the same. So Glenn, I'm sorry you're getting up. screwed. So he one, just gets truer. Yeah, no, false we just got one. one about it just happened easy that statistics, one. and I gotta know. <laughs> all right, all some right. random, <laughs> some random <laughs> Rob Lowe character yeah. in his. <laughs> They didn't put it okay. on his picture, I'll tell you that. All one. right, are you ready? You're, you're ready. Nobody's okay? getting no. that haircut. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> the Brad Pack haircut. The All right. Below. What? Okay. <laughs> what is a five and dime? Five and dime? That's two coins. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, no cheating hey, hey, over there. Hey, hey. Get get her. get the audience okay. out of there. Five. Should we give him? We can ten. give him hints. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, no hints. No hints. All right. All right. So no five hint. and ten. Um, five. It's it was called a five and dime. It it was a store, but what, oh, what was okay. the store? Oh, I don't know. A general store. I wouldn't give him a general store. You gave him the, you know, I'm giving him oh. the point. Because you gave it to him. You gave it to him. So Any him store is a right. store. You have it. Okay. okay. So are you ready? Andrew, you you are up now. Okay. All right. Here we go. This should be general. You should know this. If you were playing Backstreet Bingo, what were you doing? Backseat Bingo. Um, I feel like you're trying to, like, feel somebody up. I'll take, I'll take that. that. Having sex in a car. Yes, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Yes. Okay. So everybody has. What year is that from? I've never heard that term. <laughs> okay. Well, backseat bingo. Yes. Yeah, backseat. Well, it's better bingo. than. It's different than the backseat disco. So oh, yeah. we're tied at one. Yeah. We're tied at one. Okay. Now it's the backseat twerk for. is the new thing. What singer brought sexy back? Oh, Justin Timberlake. That's, yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> See, I'm great at this. This is just. Are you kidding? I'm a young guy at heart. That's like that's like saying who was the ramen noodled haired member of InSync. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Okay. That is a great description. <laughs> I don't know any of these so far, so. Oh, I know. Yo, you got one. Okay. <laughs> is there anything about guns in there? No. <laughs> no I'll, I'll look. Let's see. What we We're got John Wick. Oh yeah, I got that. Uh, that would be weird. But you're not supposed to get that. Yeah, you're, you're supposed, supposed to, to like, yeah. You're supposed to know. Something random here, Mark. Hit him good. Okay, okay I'll hit him good here. Okay, okay this good. here, this is a good one. What was the name of the vehicle that allowed time travel in Back to DeLorean. the Future? Yeah! That one I Right. I've never seen good. any of the movies, but I know the car. I'm what? gonna, I'm gonna get a question that's like, okay, in 1877. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How no, did Thomas this, Edison no. answer the phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did he say hello? Oh, ahoy hoy. <laughs> oh, that's awful. 
<laughs> Wait a second. That was all. It's awesome. true, though. All right, so Ryan has two. You have two. Two, and you have one. You ready? Yeah, thanks for letting me know. What TV show host said, you get a car, and you get a car? Oprah Winfrey. Wow. Oprah Winfrey, yes. There you go. All right. So now everyone's going to have a chance. If everyone gets three, you get oh, the lightning oh. round. Final yes. down. Right. So it's like, uh, okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I've never been ready Okay. <laughs> is our host ready? Is the question? Yeah, well, I am, but there's making we'll, we'll me vamp here. pictures. It's okay. All right, here we go. What does the acronym FR stand for? For real? Yeah. Yes, for real. It is. Oh my god. You guys have to get these to keep in the. How did you know I that? Know all. Holy, Are you wow. kidding? I am the Rizzler. That was yes. <laughs> That's like saying what does LOL stand for? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give you a true or false, okay? All right. Evil Knievel tried to jump the Grand Canyon in 1974. I know he's like a stunt person, but I don't know where he did stuff. I'm going to just try true. True. Yes. True. Yes. Okay. Uh, wow. Yes. Save what, do that we, for a jail we need to bring her back just for that. We have a evil Knievel you wiener sighting. You should know this one. Okay, so this should keep you in the game. Are you Fingers. ready? This should have you all tied up, and then we will go. Mm. It's a lot of pressure. Friend star Lisa Kudrow is a boomer. Hmm? Is a generation boomer. Yes. True. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's that old? Yeah, she was born in 1963. Wow. That's, She's actually okay. one of the oldest Okay, so now this cast. is the lightning round. We either all win, all lose, but I'm going to make tough questions Well, now, wait, so. should we just have one in the first person that jumps in? No. No? no? Okay. Glenn, sit down. I'm drunk. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here's your question. Only question. Yes. Only fan. Only Name question. the owl-hamster hybrid toy that learned English Gear. as you played with Oh, I know it. what it is. Can you repeat the question for my joke? <laughs> Name the owl-hamster hybrid toy that learned English as you played with it. I know what it is. Hootie? I don't know. No, it's not Hootie. It's Furby. Oh, Furby. Furby. Yeah, I don't know. Furby. All right, so you're out. Okay, guys, now you guys wow. could be co-champions. That's a cool mistress right there. All right. You guys could be. Uh, Furby. Here we go. That was some bullshit for the record, America. And Turkey. You ready? Yep. You know who George Clooney is, right? Yep. All right. Oh, dang. What popular hospital series did George Clooney star in before Grey's Anatomy? I know this. Oh, you shit. gave almost the thing away. Um, Are you kidding? You don't know this? Well, 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 I don't watch like yeah, hospital put, shows. Yeah. So I'm not in the medical the field. <laughs> <laughs> what popular field? hospital series did George Clooney so if, star in? So if you in? just like generally liked hospital shows. If you just went somewhere and you were sick. Uh, yeah, if you just, if you. Ten. Uh, nine. Three seconds. I don't know. Three, two, ER. ER. You go to an ER oh, if you're out. Oh, my God. I, I, All I right, probably so could have picked can, out a movie he was in, but not that. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. There's you can a, take there's a the palpable is excitement amongst that the audience here, That onion smell is my B.O. because I'm so All nervous. Right. Wow. All right. Let's see if you're going to know this one, okay? Oh, okay. For the win. Oof. If not, everybody loses. And then you win? I win. <laughs> then I win. I win. Okay. Are you then the house always winner. wins. Who did the comedy tour titled Raw? Oh, I just answer it's not. Every old person knows this, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Say it again. What comedian did the comedy tour titled Raw? It was an actual TV video too, and he's been in several. I'm trying to think of a, a hint. Several movies. What, what's he? Eddie uh, Murphy. Yeah. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There, there was something weird going on there. Yeah, I don't know how she got, I, did you, did, is, I, I don't know how wow. they cheated over there, but she did win for wow. our art. Wow. Eddie Murphy did star in Raw. I'll give that to you. You were in the lead. You screwed it all I up. I want a commission, year. first of all. Because Guys, we want to thank Ryan for coming out tonight. Everybody give it up for Ryan. Thank you so much.
Thank you for, for having Holly's me. For Holly's Jails Tales, we got to see how everybody liked it. Holly's Jails Tales, give it a Holly's Jails Tales. Hey, guys. We want to